And, uh, uh, they're, uh, then next summer is, uh, Avengers. Because they, that's why they're redoing all the Marvel movies. And then, mm -hmm. following up with that, DC is going to reboot, is, uh, from, it's rumored that they're going to reboot all their franchises. And then, later in the 2010s, they're going to try and make a Justice League movie. Hmm, interesting. So, very cool stuff going on. And, uh... Also, I heard I've heard lots of stuff about uh, Super Eight. Yeah. Which, uh, okay. People, from what I've heard, everybody says Super Eight is awesome, and I really hope it is because I this is a something. This is not a franchise. This is J.J. Abrams, who is very famous. This is uh, uh, this is Steven Spielberg, who is also known for quality and. Uh, I really hope that it does not flop, because if it does, I will be severely disappointed. Yeah, most definitely, but especially it has big names behind it, so... Oh, and there cannot be a Super 8 the game. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's probably a bad idea. Uh, I'm trying to think now. Um... Wait, Rock and when... Robots the movie? <laughs> no! <Just> no! <laughs> Real Steel, the movie not... starring uh, Hugh Jackman, coming out this summer. Go with, go see it. <laughs> oh, man, I don't know. Um, I did see a movie trailer a while back uh, for a movie uh, movie adaptation of Tintin, which um, ever since I was a kid, I've been a pretty big fan of the comics, uh, which uh, we rented from our library because they have a little international section so you can borrow international books. Um, and they that's had cool. the entire series sitting in there in one shelf. So, uh, uh, I gotta say, I'm pretty interested. The trailer features some really nice voice acting and CG and anim animatics. Um, so I'm pretty interested in that. But other than that, um, you You're not really interested. In not really into any sort of the Marvel remakes oh, or anything. I was actually, never into the superhero stuff too much. I love superhero movies just because I, I read a lot of comics. But also. Something you might be interested in. Uh, apparently, Marvel has started writing uh, Deadpool, the movie. <laughs> so that sounds that sounds pretty interesting. Um, I got to say, pretty much my Marvel my my knowledge of Marvel characters is all because of Marvel vs. Capcom. That's pretty Which much is okay. it. Okay, that's <laughs> I didn't know a lot of them, and, and I read a lot of comics, but I didn't know a lot of them until I played NBC Two. So. All right, good to know. I'm I'm uh, not alone no. in the boat. So I had to go Google Blackheart after I played NBC Two. I was like, who is that? <laughs> anyway, um, so now we get to talk about one of the, probably one of the biggest releases this year. That is Duke Nukem, Duke Nukem Duke Forever. Forever. And that's not... hail to the king. That's hail to the king, baby. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, okay. One of the best things I heard was uh. Uh, there's this guy on Screwtag. Not, not one of the main teams, but he does this blog on there. But um, he was uh, talking and he said, uh, Duke Nukem's finally out, but has the gum gone stale? Oh, man, I hope not. Uh, um, yeah. Which I, I, which I gotta say, um, I played five minutes of the demo today uh, before starting this podcast, and I have to say, my impressions left me good and warm and fuzzy. Good. Um, warm and fuzzy. It's... Duke Nukem should not leave you warm and fuzzy. You might want to get that checked. <laughs> um, warm and fuzzy is in nostalgic. I mean, uh, it, it has a lot of the... It has a lot of the charisma that makes Duke Nukem Duke Nukem. Yeah, but, John St. Uh, John is Duke Nukem. No. Yes, most definitely. Um, it has a lot of the retaining qualities of the original uh, first-person shooter back from the 1990s. Um, Interaction with all the though, uh, objects if around you're, you and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, though, if you're expecting, if you're going in expecting basically um, an update to the original engine and making having a, the same feel as Duke Nukem 3D, don't, don't go in expecting that. It's a it, totally it's different a, game. It, is, feels, oh, it feels like a very modern first-person shooter. Yeah. The, the, so. way, the way I've heard it described is that Duke Nukem games aren't Duke Nukem games. They're other games with John St. John. That's pretty good. Uh, pretty good description. Because the first one, the, the first two were those side scrollers. Mario with John St. with, with Duke Nukem as the character. 
the yep. Duke Nukem 3D is a uh, uh, Doom mod with John St. John in it. Duke Nukem Forever is modern first person shooter with John St. John in it. And if, if, you, yep. if you think about it, that's I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm okay with that too. I mean, that's what that's what makes Duke Nukem Duke Nukem is it just kind of rips off of other games and then yeah, just kind of puts its own style on yeah, it, which Duke only Nukem fine by me is a giant parody of everything else. That's pretty much, yeah. So um, I do got to say, it's I'm not sure if it's quite worth the fifty dollars on Steam, but uh, if it does go on sale, definitely get a copy of it. Yeah. yeah so uh, have you heard about uh, the Bill Slashew? who uh, pre-ordered the game 10 years ago when Gearbox... Mm, yes. Okay, well, uh, he did a video for Screw Attack, and uh, they recorded him going to GameStop, turning in the receipt, and they had to call GameStop, like, headquarters, like, and uh, <laughs> get it authorized. And then he took it, uh, he bought the PC version, and he took it home, and so he immediately starts to install it, and it, it, on Steam, and it's just starting and it's just updating. <laughs> and it, it, you know how Steam has that glitch where every, uh, the update will keep suspending itself? Oh, yes, I hate that. Oh, it was so funny, because he was like, I just really want to play Duke Nukem, and it just keeps suspending itself. Oh, that just, <laughs> and oh. Then, uh, and while they talked about it, they talked about uh, who, he, he's a game developer now, and I played <laughs> a lot of his games, they're really good. He works for, uh, D-Boy. Just, uh, they, they, yeah, they, they do uh, Xbox Live indie games, but they make uh, like 8 bit, 16 bit indie games. Anyway, oh, very nice, very yeah. nice. I'll have to send you a link to them later, but uh, anyway, so he does a. Uh, actually, you know, they're releasing on Steam in July 13th, I think. Uh, the Robert Boyd said, but um, anyway, so he's. Uh, so at the end, they uh, he finally plays it, and he just, the first thing he says is the only. He goes, it's just like Duke to start out where you're uh, using the fire button to control his pee. <laughs> and, yeah, exactly. And um, uh, and then John St. John recorded a special uh, outro where it says, What's wrong, Slash? Thought I'd be gone forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's some serious fan service right there. Yeah, so uh, just, just because of John St. John, I'm going to go ahead and give Duke Nukem a B-. minus. Good game should not have been uh, 14 years in the middle. Yeah, although you got to give Gearbox credit for taking what yeah. they were left behind, That's which right. was basically a pile, of, basically a pile of donkey feces. Yeah, half, half finished, half finished work with uh, seven seven hundred thousand dollars at least attached to it. So they had to make it big, and if, for what they were given, they did good. Yeah, most definitely. So I do have to commend Gearbox on that one. Yeah, definitely one of the uh, one of. I admire Gearbox. They've Randy Pitchford is uh, a, a, a go big or go home kind of guy. He'll say what he thinks. He'll do what he believes in. And even though I don't agree with some of the things he says and believes in, he uh, he at least has my respect because he does everything to its fullest. So most definitely, yeah. So. Um, I don't know. I'd say it's probably too early for me to give a uh, uh, review on him or even give give a grade on the uh, the game because, uh, like I said, I've only played about five minutes of the demo. I'll, I only played. <laughs> yeah, I I didn't even play the devil demo, but I'm just saying from what I've seen, I'm gonna give it a B minus. Yeah, that, that's definitely subject to change. Most most definitely, yeah. So um, I gotta say. Uh, I do. I am looking forward to uh, playing the full demo later on, so and potentially even playing the full game if uh, if it goes on sale. So with that, uh, we're gonna wrap it up here. Okay, sweet. So song of the month, I guess. Song of the month. Yeah. All right. Uh, so what is your pick for the month? I chose the graveyard theme from Super Ghouls and Ghosts.